So today we're learning about the basics of building a mobile application on OutSystems. Okay, first thing we have to do is log into Service Studio using our OutSystems account. Now, if you don't have that yet, don't worry. We have two great videos you can use as reference. Watch those, we've linked it here. And come back to this one once you have your personal environment. But if you're all set up, go ahead and click on New Application. And we do get the option to build an application from scratch or to use a reference application as our basis. But for this video, we'll be starting from scratch. Next, you'll want to select the phone app. That's what we're going to use for mobile development. But if you're also interested in the other options, you can go to our channel and subscribe. Hit the notification bell icon, that way you get notified when we release new videos. We start our project by giving it a name and a description, and we can choose from one of the different color options below. This is going to be the basis for the design of the screens that you'll see later on. But you can also upload an icon, and OutSystems will automatically grab the colors from that icon and use it for the screens. For me, I'll just use the color red for OutSystems and create application. Now we know projects come in all shapes and sizes, big or small, so OutSystem supports creating modules. That way you can create layers for your UI, your database, your logic. But since this is the basics, you just have to click on Create Module, and this will give us the main entry point for our mobile application. Unlike other development tools, you build the entire mobile application through Service Studio. You can use the Interface tab to create your very nice interfaces and create great user experiences here. You go to the Logic tab to create your actions, your processing, and whatever your buttons need to do. You can also do data transactions and processing by going to the Data tab. OutSystem supports interacting with both a server-side database and also the local database of the mobile app through local storage. For this video, let's keep things simple and create a small application that will allow our users to register their name, their email address, and mobile number, just so you can get the hang of building mobile applications on OutSystems. Let's kick things off. I'll create an entity, and this is effectively the database table. Now I'm going to call mine registrant, but feel free to call yours whatever you want to. This is also how we're going to store our information for the registration. I'll add entity attributes, which is also the columns for our database table. And as you type these column names, you're going to see one very nice feature of the platform. It automatically detects the data type based on what name you provide. So if you're following best practices for naming conventions, it saves you a lot of time and makes sure your data types are correct. Great, now that we have our database table, let's use that to create our user interface. Now OutSystems is a cool way to create UI, and that's by dragging and dropping the database table onto the middle of the screen for it to generate two pages, the list page and the detail page of your application. You can open these up and see what it looks like. Now all these screens are customizable, but there are a few things OutSystems has automatically generated for us, like the form to encode new registrants, and even the functionality to persist that into the database. You also get the list page for viewing all the records already stored in our database. Now, this isn't the only way to create UI. You can actually select main flow, right click, and add screen to gain access to the different templates available for creating great user interfaces. You can absolutely start from scratch if the templates don't work for you, but in my case, I'll use one of the onboarding templates here, and this will be a nice way to introduce our applications to new users. Now don't worry, using the templates will still allow you to customize the application screen, and you can change the text, the colors, don't worry. I'll do some editing myself. I want this actually to be the very first screen that my user sees when they load the mobile app. So I can do that by selecting application onboarding, right clicking, and then selecting mark as default. Another thing I'll do is for all the pages of our mobile app, I'll set that to anonymous so you don't need a registered account. We won't be talking about user management now, but this is a way to make sure you can test the application without having to register first. Now there's a button here I want to override the behavior of. If you scroll down to the very bottom of the screen, you're going to see the next button or the let's get started button. Double click that, make sure you select the next button. And you're going to see here some actions already implemented by OutSystems. Get rid of the not implemented message and from the right side of the screen, select the registrants page and drag and drop that on top of the end icon. What this does is that after the user scrolls through all the images from our onboarding screen, they'll be taken to the registrants page. 
all that's left to do is try it out. So let's click on the green button at the top of Service Studio. And this is actually what we call the one-click publish button. So this will effectively generate the working version of our application so we can try it out. Don't worry, we made sure that you can test it out even without a mobile device handy because we know there's a bit of setup involved there. So once the publish is done, you can click on the blue button that should also be in the same spot. And this will allow you to preview the application on the web browser. Of course, there are certain features that won't work if we previewed this on the browser, but for the application we've built so far, that's fine. We can try out the screens and the form and see how that works out. So you have your nice onboarding screens, and once you tap Let's Get Started, you'll get to the registrant list. Add a new registrant. Feel free to populate this with any information you want just to see it working. Here, I'll write Andrew, add an email address, and a mobile number, and then hit Save. And that should show up in our registrant list. Not bad for a couple of minutes worth of work. So that's it for our quick introduction to mobile development on OutSystems. I hope you had fun building your first mobile app. And if you'd like to learn more about OutSystems through these quick videos, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!